Hello and welcome back to another Roller Coaster Tycoon playthrough video. Next up, we have Millennium Mines, where the objective is to have 800 guests in the park by the end of year 3 with a park rating of 600. I did a little bit of poking around before I started recording, and this place looks pretty cool. We've got a lot of land to work with. It is a little hilly, but fortunately for us, most of it is, uh, has flat plateaus on top. We have this single station train ride, which, uh, as far as I can tell, is serving no purpose, so I'm going to sell it and get all of our money back for it. Oh, look at that. Just shy of 5,000. Okay. So let's look at our path situation. We have a dead end path right there. Let me get everyone out of this queue line so I can delete it. Boop. No more people. All right. We have this mine area. Let's, ex let's extend our path over here like so. Okay. And maybe circle it back so it rejoins with our pathway over here. There we go. So now we have a loop. And as we see, this is uh, empty now. So let me select paths and delete all of that. And we'll also delete the sign that we don't need anymore. Wonderful. Let us initiate our park with a merry-go-round. Right here, by the entrance. Fire it up. Let's go yellow for our path. And open! Ba 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 Wonderful. Let's accompany that with a scrambled eggs. Or a scrambler, depending on how, how what you call it. Let's put it right here. Look at that, they're like mirrored. That's cool. Now this uh, dirt is kind of kind of cool, but not exactly pretty to look at. So I'm gonna cover that up with some flares. Some flowers. Where are the flowers? Here we go. Uh, let's go pink. Wonderful. Let's put some fences around them. Not fences. Gates? I don't know. We don't want to see this uh, dirt border. Actually, no, that looks the same color as the ground. Maybe I'll just leave it. Yeah, let's just leave it. It actually kind of looks nice like that. Oh, but I need more flowers on this side of our twist, of course. Perfect. Look at this. If I build this here, it's like supported by a, a wooden support structure. <laughs> so let's not do that. That looks silly. Alright, so we have two rides. Let's look at our other options. We only have a handful of gentle rides. What does our scientific research look like? We're at maximum funding by default. That's cool. We're unlocking a shop or a stall. Let's build shops and stalls while we're thinking about it before I forget. We have fries. Maybe we could put that over right there. Let's change the price to two dollars for fries. Fries and sides. Uh, we can put the bathroom right there. You know, maybe I should move this. That might be a good spot for an info kiosk. So let's put that over here. Or no, that might... Yeah, I can't make up my mind. Whatever. Whatever. Put it back. <laughs> and it's gonna rain. It's a shame we don't have any umbrellas to sell. Because if we did, we would be making bank right now. Anyway, let's begin... Building roller coasters. Let's start with a Woody, as we always do, because Woodies are the best. Let's build it off of this side. Turn on our ghost trains, which are not a vanilla feature. This is an open RCT2 feature, which is really cool. I can kind of get a preview of how the roller coaster will behave instead of guessing if it'll even complete the circuit and only the test and find out it doesn't even work. Because that, that always sucks. Let's go down steep. I'm at the edge of the park, so let's uh, loop around like this. Now that's cool. Oh man, I can't, I can't complete it doing the same thing. <laughs> so we may have to watch those lateral g-forces. It's a little rough, but I think we'll be, I think we'll be fine.
Okay, that will not work. Neither will that. Let's embrace the diagonals and just go over the track like this. And we can't do that because of the path there. So let's go up a little more. Now we're up to 95 feet. That's not going to work. 85 feet is probably pushing it, but let's see. Can we make it up to that point? Nope. I was afraid of that. We ran out of momentum. Okay, let's try a narrower and uh, not... <laughs> I don't think we'll even make it past that. 75. That'll probably do it. Let's go roaring over the station and scare everyone on the... Everyone getting into their... Into their seats. And that's not going to work. Gosh dang it. Okay, instead... We'll have some mini hops. And we can't do this for the same reason. Instead, let's put a photo section right here so you get pictures of all your skier faces right over the station. Or maybe put that here first. Oh, that's more like it. Although it looks like I have to remove this. Okay, I'll put that somewhere else. It looks like the solution was to have a hill that was two tiles tall, but not with a photo section. Oh, we're still in the way. Darn it! Oh, no! Fine. I'll make it work like this. Although I want to make it turn the other way. I wonder if I can sneak underneath this. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That is cool! That is so cool. Ho oh, There we go. Let's put a photo section right there. Get the water splash to slow us down as we make our way back to the station. So now we're back down to 40 feet. Okay, I can't do that. And I can't do that. Okay, I have to go down right here. Let's do a little double drop thing, like so. Let's go wide. Or maybe not, just a little turn sequence, just to, you know, play with the stomachs of our guests. That's uh, not black brakes. We don't want we don't want that. Let's go regular brakes. Slow that down to 13. A bit of redundancy, a little bit of length. There we go. I like the way this looks. Where's my station? I can't see. <laughs> There's the front of the station. So let's go one tile back from the front. Put the exit over here. And voila. Turn up the speed of our lift hill. And test this bad boy. Let's, uh... Ah, I can't see what I'm doing. Build our queue line. See through rides. No, no, I can't. Oh, crap. I can't see the <laughs> see through supports over that. Yeah, screw it. Let's watch. Let's watch the roller coaster test. Woohoo! Oh, I forgot I was going to look at the laterals. Okay, the laterals look okay. I'm not fussed about that. Woohoo! Up to this hill. Just breeze right over that crest. Have a little sploosh. Two little mini drops, little snake section. Okay, so this looks good. I'm not concerned about the stats. I'm not concerned they're going to be bad. I mean, I am concerned about the stats, just that they'll... I'm confident they'll be good. That's what I meant to say. See through supports. Oh, we didn't even break six. Ah, oh, well, that's fine. It doesn't have to be fantastic. It just has to attract people to the... Ah, uh, I, can't, I can't see what I'm doing. Connect to the station. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do this backwards. I'm going to build this backwards and then connect to the entrance like this, because this is silly. Not like that, though.
There we go. Place down an exit around here. I could probably buff the stats with some scenery, actually. So let's turn this up to 14-ish. It's probably as much as I can get away with. 350 for photos. No thoughts yet. All right. I kind of like this color scheme, so I'm going to leave it. Although, actually, the uh, the boardwalk kind of looks similar to the color of the ground, so maybe I'll change it? Let's see. Where? What? Okay, that's this color. Red? Hmm. No. Okay, that looks like pea soup. Oh, there's a fun color. Okay, I like that. So we'll leave it like that. And where are the supports? Let's make these the same color. Just for just to make it interesting. Okay, I can't see. And these hopefully will improve our stats. I actually delete that and press shift when I do it. There we go, now I get the support structure in the bottom. And we still don't get any umbrellas. No. That's sad. Where else could I put these? Maybe some right here over this pathway. That's fun. I always like walking through the support structures of a ride. Twist one hasn't been fixed. Oh no, it looks like I missed the notification that that broke down. Okay, rotate. There we go. Okay, that should be sufficient, I think. Well, actually, let's put, put some right here. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave that. Okay, let's see what that did to our stats. Oh, yes, we have increased our stats to above six. So that that's good. I like that. Now, what else can we do? We have about 1,000 left. It looks like we spent most of our money. We unlocked a drinks stall. That's good. So let's place that somewhere to complement our fries. Maybe right there. Why do I, why do I keep doing this to myself? Why do I, every, I, I've done this like every episode for the past three episodes. I'll place down a stall with food or drinks by the bathroom. What am I thinking? <laughs> no one wants to buy drinks or food that's next to a bathroom and all the smells associated. What's wrong with me? That's funny. What are we researching now? Oh, we unlocked a roller coaster. Where is that? With our tiny bit of money left, let's place a looper somewhere. Park entrance is too high. What? What? Huh? Oh, there's an entrance fee in the park. <laughs> the worst value park in the country. I didn't know. I didn't know there was a fee on it. Well, now people are coming into the park. Or some people are leaving, actually. Yeah, but that's frustrating. I had no idea. Let's build this roller coaster over the pathway, because that's always cool. Okay, I have to build a little taller. 30 feet tall. Very long train, my goodness. Although it looks like I don't have room for that. I'm out of money. How sad. How much of a loan can I take out? Okay, the maximum is 20,000, so I'm not going to push it too far. Let's do something similar on the back end here. Oh no, that's in the way. Okay, let's make a shorter, shorter roller coaster. 
which means less throughput, which is sad. Gonna make these both 85 feet. Let's put our entrance and our exit down. All right, let's go powered launch, passing station, so we get the drop at the back end. Let's try 38 miles per hour and see what happens. Just barely makes you through that loop. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, I like that. Although I would like to add a photo section somewhere, so I wonder if I have room to do that here. Or if that roller coaster is in the way, the woody, I mean. Ah, dang it, I killed my support. Oh well, it's worth it for the photo section because we need the money. Look at all the people coming to our park. Nice. Okay, let's test this again. And while that's testing, we will build our entrance. Let's make it green. Just because the roller coaster is green. Beautiful. All right, stats please, not bad. All right, so let's set this to 14 because it's one of a kind, I can get away with it. If I build another one, I will have to reduce the price. Will anyone pay $14 for this very short roller coaster? Any takers? Uh, let's look at the thoughts. I'm not paying that. Okay, it's too, it's too expensive. <laughs> well, I wouldn't pay $14 to ride this, so I guess that's fair. Uh, how about now? I can't actually see the entrance. There we go. Someone's, someone's doing it. Wonderful. I don't know if I sound any different compared to other videos. Uh, if I do, it's because I've rearranged my, my setup. I bought a, second, a separate monitor for my computer so I could see what I'm doing when I'm editing better. Uh, but that, mean, that meant I had to move my microphone to the other side of my desk. So it's on my left now instead of my right. So I don't think it makes that much of a difference. I did test it out just to see what it sounded like. It sounds okay. But uh, it might sound just slightly different. Okay. As always, we have to spend money to make money. So I'm going to take a loan so I can build a log flume. Although first I have to expand our reach a little bit. Okay, let's uh, build a pathway down through here. Uh, how am I going to do this? Okay, that didn't work the way I thought it would. Let's go down one more tile like this. this way. There we go. Now I have room to go down from here. Perfect. Look at those happy giggles. Okay, so now we've uh, given ourselves access to this area. Let's do something similar over here. Now we have this plateau available. Let's stare down to, you know, let's do this a little differently. Let's uh, make this easier on ourselves. Make our guests hike. That way I don't have to waste space with stairs. So that gives us access to this spot. We might be able to fit one little flat right there. And now let's uh, go around like this. Here we go, now we have this area available to us. Get to walk around all this uh, scenery and such. Bum, 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 ba, da, da, da. The meme song, hooray. Oh, I should have thought that through. 
Let's go like this. There we go. Much better. There we go. Now we have a loop. So we've given ourselves access to more of our land. That spreads our guests a little bit thinner, which could be risky because they're, they, don't, they don't ride our rides as frequently. But I think it'll work out just fine, especially as we build a log flume over here. So let's build it up here close to the front because that's where we are focused right now. Let's see, where do I want this? I think that's a good spot. Reverse a turntable. And let's go underground, because this is a mine after all. How deep can we go? Woohoo! Okay, that's as deep as we can go. Let's flatten out. Uh, I should probably put that over here, right at the bottom of this splash. Not that it makes a difference for the ride, it just makes a difference in my head. It's gonna rain again. Do I have the... Yay, I have it! Yes! Yes! Time to cash in. Time to get rich. $20 for umbrellas, everybody. Come and get your $20 umbrellas. Yes, indeed. Let's place another one right here, close to the entrance. Actually, hmm. Uh, maybe. Ah. Uh, I can flatten this spot right there. No one needs to know. Just put a little retaining wall there. Boop. Change the color of this one to green. So we have red umbrellas and green umbrellas. And all of our stragglers out in the middle of nowhere. Let's put one over here. Just like so. Same deal. And we'll make these ones light blue. Alright, back to construction. Uh, where am I? Aha! You know what would be cool if we made it come out over here? But I don't know how tall that is. So now we're at 10 feet. Let's put height marks on land. Okay, so that's at 5 feet. So let's turn this off. Let's make, make it into a drop. Just so it's more interesting. Okay, we are lined up. Now. Let's go We. Okay, I missed it. <laughs> Five feet. There we go. Now we're out and uh, we're back to the surface. If we could pop out of the ground and go back into the ground, that'd be cool. But that's too complicated. Oh, wait. No, it isn't. We can do this. Potentially. Ba 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 da da da. There we go! Ha <laughs> ha ho! Look at us using the landscape to our advantage. Oh crap, I can't do that. <laughs> um, I might be able to pop out next to this, actually. So let's go this way. Okay, I'm in the way of myself. Let's go back down under it, like so. There we go! Look at that! Look at that! Now, we're actually kind of far away from our station, so I think we should just head uh, head back. We only have a few drops, but that's okay. Oh no! Okay, looks like I should come up here as well. I'm running out of money. <laughs> So this is the real splash mine because it's a it's actually a mine. <laughs> Let's add a little extra drop right here and return to the station. I just realized I forgot to add another turntable, but that's okay. That means every other ride will be backwards. <laughs> How many boats do I get? 
That's a lot of boats. My goodness, 44. Let's go. Heck yeah. I did not mean to do that. No, my flowers. I ruined my flowers. What the heck? Put that back. Okay. Back to the key line. I just remembered I was m meaning to make that into a flat ride, so let's do not, let's not do that. There we go. Rather awkward looking queue line. And this is so long. My goodness. Ooh, we got a, we have a spiral slide. Hooray! Let's place that somewhere just to uh, elevate our soft guest cap, even if it's not much of a ride. We could fit one of those over here. It's actually another entrance over. Ah, it's fine, never mind. Whatever. We'll do it like that. Charge two dollars for this, because I always charge too much. The maximum number of people to ride is five, because I don't believe in safety standards. Okay, where's boat one? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so long. I think I do need to have a, m a minimum wait time. I'm going to turn this down to maybe three seconds just to space these out so it's not all backed up like this. My goodness. Let's speed up. Let's just, uh... Oh, yay! Safest park in the country. Thanks! Let's see if I can crack one of these ducks in this fast-forwarded state. Come here! Aho! I gotcha! Yes! Okay. Look at that excitement! Oh ho ho! Yes. Yes siree. Alright, well, uh, excuse me, I'd like to see what I'm doing here. With a, with a score like that, we might be able to charge 14 for this log room. Let's test it out. Come on down, my friends! Come on down and enjoy the best log flume in town. Or I guess it's the only one in town, but... Here, there we go. He's willing to pay $14, Mr. Gillian N. He might not be a very good uh, sample, though, because he's got his wide grin on his face, so he's willing to pay more. Let's see someone who's neutral. Never mind, he's happy, too. Anybody? Okay, he's just happy, and he went in. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Let's uh, take our loan back and advertise this. We'll advertise the park and advertise the log flume. Beep get people into the park. We are nearly halfway to our objective already. We're only halfway through year one, so things are looking good. And I meant to fill this area with the log room, but then I ended up building all of it underground, so I, I have room for another roller coaster or another ride right there. So that's fun. What are we researching? Oh, a pirate ship. Nice. Because we need more thrill rides. Oh, didn't mean to zoom in like that. Let's fast forward so we can earn our money back and pay our loan down. Yay, pirate ship. Now that that's available, let's build it somewhere. Maybe right here. Uh, yeah, right there. Not right there. Uh, move it back. That's just not good places for it. How about... How about, uh... I could put it here. That's the whole reason we left this area open. Okay. Yeah, this looks alright. We just have to build a bridge to it. Like so. Wonderful. Test day out. And as always, we can charge $5 for this one when it's a new ride. Let's see who will pay for it. Turn that down. All right. Very nice. We have, we have, uh, we are halfway to our objective. 
And so we have an upward trend. I think we're this whole span from from a uh, March ish to May is be when I that's when I realized that I had a park entrance fee, which it wasn't supposed to have. So I turned that off, and now we're doing much better. I think I need more of those, and maybe one more of these guys. We also need benches and garbage cans. Oh yeah, I have the fancy garbage cans. Nice. So let's start with those, because I see a litter problem here and there. And then the benches, because of the vomit problem. Uh, where am I? There we go. I can't see. Yeah, there's some litter right there. And there. Fortunately, we don't have a lot of paths yet, so this doesn't take too long. Just plop a few down here and there and call it good. Let's place some benches down. We have the nicer benches, which is cool. And this will help with the nausea problem. So placing them near the exit of thrill rides and rides that may give you a nausea effect is advantageous to us, especially twisty rides like this one. So let's put some benches right here so people can sit down. Maybe there. And just everywhere, honestly. You can't have too many benches. Oh, our ad campaign has finished. And it paid off. Look at that. Oops, that, that was garbage cans. Ah, it's fine. I think we had, uh, we took out a loan of 1000 to do both of those ad campaigns, and we have not only paid our loan down, but made more than what we spent back. So that's good. Let's restart. Let's advertise the Woody this time. Classic Wooden Rollercoaster 1. And use the rest to turn our loan down. So now we're back down to 10000 That's where we started. And I think this thing cost us about eh, roughly 8000 10000 ish to build. The log flume was expensive. Then we have this roller coaster. So we're, we're, we're earning our money back, to put, put it simply. And I think we can do with some more scenery on this area. Plop! Ba -ba -da -da. Look at it go! 504 guests, not bad, not bad at all. I wonder if we can get more people in the park with uh, free rides on the merry-go-round. They come in for the free rides on this and then end up spending all the money on everything else in the park. Okay, people are stepping in that. Where's one of my... Not you. Come here, handyman. There we go. Clean up this mess. Yuck. Very good. All right. Now, please excuse me while I take a quackage break. All right. Very good. What are we researching? Oh, a classic mini roller coaster. That'll be fun. We have two of these four roller coaster types built. I don't exactly have the finances to build another one unless I take out another loan. But maybe that's what we should do. So let's take out a loan and build a wooden wild mouse to fill in this space that I meant to fill in with the... Uh, what is this? This little 5x5 five five indent. I wonder if that was meant to be there, or if uh, Chris Sawyer or whoever was making this place goofed, and they had this selected to 5, and they accidentally clicked and dragged down without paying attention. <laughs> Whatever it is. Let's build a woody, a woody wild mousey. With lots of mice. Okay, I don't like how close that is. Let's do this. So there's a little bit of space there. Uh, what'd you do, a mouse? Are you stuck? All right. It's gonna rain again. Nice. That means it's payday. Woohoo! 
Where did that mouse go? Uh oh, that's the edge of the park. Oh wait, no, but I still have room here. I just have to turn, like so. Okay, the station is at 40 feet, so 45, let's go down one more. Or maybe just bounce up and down. Well, actually, no, I have space to go down again. There we go, now we're at 40. And we can afford to have additional station tiles here for a very long station. Lovely. All right, let's turn the lift hill speed up to the maximum of five miles per hour and test it out. Let's turn the minimum wait time down to something modest, like three seconds, and build a station to this. Or build a queue line, not a station. What am I saying? Make this yellow. Oh, I did that wrong. Ha, ha, ha. Boop, right there. And the exit, similar deal, would be right here, all the way down the hill. The cost of riding the wild mouse is to have wild legs with wild strength to climb this hill. And uh, I should probably set the price to this. Uh, not 25, 14 ish. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. We can charge more than that. At least 15. We might be able to get away with 16, but I'm not going to push it. Open for business. Come on down, my friends. I'm going to change the supports to be white, like the wooden roller coaster. And our mice, although this might be a, uh, an accurate mouse color. Let's make the mice red. There we go. Bright colors. Stand out against the dull background. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. We're making our money back. I took out a loan so I could build that. I don't think I needed to take a loan out. I think I was making enough money to build it just with our income. Let's build another roller coaster for that same reason. We have 626 guests. It looks like we have unlocked our classic mini. Uh, but before I build anything, I may have to expand again. Or no, I could put a I could put something over here. So let's build a train over here. A mine train seems fitting considering the theming of this place. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, I know. I know. Here we go. You access this mine train by going underground. Okay, that's enough for two trains. That's good. Uh-oh. That's a problem. Uh, put the entrance right there. <laughs> oh, that looks funny. Um, let's actually delete that entrance real quick so I can do this properly. So it doesn't look so funny. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Although I don't want it to be there. I want it closer to the middle. So let's do that again. There we go. Perfect. And right off the bat, drop out of the station, because that's exciting. Now for the lift hill. Into the shadowy depths. And up above the ground, like so. Eighty-five to sixty-five—that should work. I would like to do. I would like to have two uh, 
uh, uh, steep pieces, but I guess I can't. Because if I do, I go back to 85, and that's the height we started at. So, we'll just do this. helix here. Not that. Uh, tight helix. Like so. To 70 feet. That might be pushing it a little bit. Yeah, I want to see if this actually makes it. Especially after those helixes. It may not. Oh, we're good. We're fine. It did perfectly. Let's embrace our diagonals as always. Put a photo section right there. Uh, why am I not able to do that? Oh, I am. I was just looking at it wrong. Okay, for many roller coasters, it doesn't look good to have your track lying on the ground, because it looks odd that it doesn't have supports, but seeing as this is a train, it makes sense. So I like it. I like it. Oh, snap. I can't do that. Up to 50 feet. Oh no, that's 60. I might have enough momentum to pull that off. I don't know. Let's uh, dive underground again so we can rejoin the station. The station was, uh, where is it? 15 feet? Alright, so this is the elevation of the station. So let's work our way back and watch the train in the background while we do that. Just to make sure it actually makes it over that hill. There we go. Perfect. Just very softly made it over that hill. Okay, it looks like I missed. So I have to make this narrower. Here we go. Perfect. Now, for safety, I'm going to just make this a longer station, I guess. Okay! So now we have a roller coaster, and about a third of it is underground. Let's turn the lift hill speed up to the maximum. And while we wait on this all to test out, turn the loan down. Fire away! Woohoo! Uh. That was odd. It's like the sound died off for a second. I'm going to watch my laterals, because that's what I'm most concerned about. And let's watch what she does! So far, so good. Vertical G's look okay. As we saw before, it makes it right over that hill. Wonderful. Goes underground. Do a few drops, just for funsies. Right back into the station. That's kind of scary. If we have a backup right there, we may have a crash underground. 
Can you imagine being on a, a roller coaster train underground in a tunnel and you can't actually see and then suddenly the lights go out, you explode? <laughs> okay, Lego. Stats. Oh, wow. Very, very good. Okay. Well, let's connect everything up. Look at that. It just comes right out like so. Eh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, back like that. There we go. I like that better. So let's delete this. There we go. Okay. So let's set this to $15 because it's one of a kind. We can get away with it. <laughs> that guy just feels like, whoa, that's scary. People can't afford it. Probably because we don't have key we don't have ATMs! Because in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 didn't have those yet. That's frustrating. Look how successful this thing is. 27,000 per hour, not bad, not bad. This one is producing 8 per 8,000 per hour. Less good, but not bad. And our Woody is doing nothing. It looks like no one's riding it because it's too expensive. How about now? Hey, everyone is, literally everyone is broke. <laughs> no one's gonna ride it when, it's, when they don't have money. There we go, there's a taker. All right, looks like it's affordable now, or it's uh, not affordable a fair enough price. Let's advertise the park. I'm uh, advertise the park and advertise our new train coaster. For as long as we can get away with. Wonderful. And maybe uh, free rides, or no, free food. Get free drinks. And free rides on the pirate ship. Speaking of which, I haven't checked on the pirate ship in a while. Is it, uh, okay, people are still riding it, but this one has nobody. Let's turn it back down to 150. And it's going to rain. And that could mean it's a good time to build our haunted house, because it's an indoor ride. And when it's raining, people like to ride indoor rides. Let's build it atop this little plateau. Test it out while we get the path sorted out. I think this queue line may be longer than it needs to be. Yeah, that's way too long for a ride like this. We'll just make our guests annoyed at how long it is. Two dollars for the new ride. Come on down, my friends. Alright, well, things are looking good. We're making a lot of money. Our uh, guests, we have 640. Our income is looking good. We're making about nine, eight to nine thousand the past few months. We're not even through October yet, and we're already at about seven thousand. Our shop sales are up because it rained, or because it is raining. What have we unlocked that I wasn't paying attention to? Let's see. Uh, nothing to see. Never mind. <laughs> okay. So now we're at 7,000 in income from ride tickets. We just have a few more days. Let's see what happens. Are we going to make less money this month than last month? That's odd. Yeah, we made less this month. That's funny. Maybe because some of our rides don't have riders anymore. Let me see. Uh, the spiral slide has nobody on it. Is that because it's too expensive or just because it's not popular? Okay, yeah, it's way too expensive. Let's turn this down to a dollar. Not that that made a difference in our income, hardly. And it's gonna rain again, what the heck? I guess more shop sales! <laughs> Unless everyone's already bought an umbrella, in which case this kind of just goes to waste. We have built almost everything. Well, I guess we only have one of these. Uh, but we have we have all of these. We have one, two, three, four of the roller coasters. We just have to build the classic mini. 
and we have most of these. We just haven't built a car ride. And I haven't bothered with these. With the transport rides. But look, our loan is going down to zero soon. Let's add more scenery while it rains. That's fun. Are there any diagonal things I can build on the hillside? Oh, I'm getting tired. Whew! My goodness. I wonder, does it stay flat? No, it doesn't. That's a shame. Ah, well, whatever. What else can we do? We could build these. Although, let's change the color so they match the, tra the track supports. There we go. And for the sides... Make it all look connected with these. I don't think you can hardly tell, though. <laughs> Very good. That'll buff the stats, too. What did that do to the stats? I think this was closer to, like, 6 of 650, but now it's at 679. I don't remember. Whatever it is, we improved it, probably. Turn the lung down again. Okay, well. Things are looking good. I like how this train is basically invisible, because it's the same color as the ground around it. Ha, <laughs> ha. I wonder, maybe we change the supports to be black. Now it's easier to see it. Let's make the trains a different color. There's white, there's orange. Actually, I kind of like orange. Orange and black. There we go, with white seats. Orange cream trains. That's cool. Oh, look at that. We've almost beat the, we've almost won the objective already. We have all of this untouched land to fill. Isn't that exciting? What are we researching? Ooh, go-karts! Yes, sir -y. Heck yeah. Uh, next, let's build one of these, uh, uh, river rapids. That'll be fun. Look at all these little po pools and ponds and stuff. I think we should extend our path down here. So let me, uh, knock down these fences. No, not that. Gosh dang it. There we go. And it's raining again. My goodness, this is a wet park. Kind of like Katie's Dreamland. This is an awkward segment to work in. Okay, now we're underground, for some reason. <laughs> I wonder if we can make it come out of the ground if we come up like this. There we go. So back to the surface. Let's break this, this uh, fence here. Yeah, this is fun. Let's dive underground again. And pop out right here. Oh, I can't. The hill is too low. Okay, fine. We'll go... Uh, hmm. There we go. Perfect. Although maybe I don't want to go there. Let's go keep this level where it is. I come out right, not there. Oh, now I have to be careful. If I accidentally delete a path when there's a peep on it, they will just disappear into the void and not die, but they'll disappear.
Okay. So we've extended our path a little bit, so maybe we could put our river rapids out here. Maybe have it dive in and out of the ground through all these walls. That'll be fun. There we go. We have no loan! Woohoo! Let's advertise the park. Get people into the park. We need 62 more guests. Or no, 42 more guests. And we will beat the scenario. But I have not turned on early winning. Uh, as you guys have requested, that would not be fun. So I didn't do that. So we are just uh, going to have fun uh, doing our thing here. With all the time left over, we will use it to beautify and expand the park. Yeah, I feel like we should save the waterfalls when we're out of the ground. Yeah, I don't know. It's not like any of this is going to be visible when it's built. Yeah, let's not build so much of it underground. Let's let's build most of it out of the ground so we see it coming in and out of the ground because that's what makes it look cool. So let's line this up to pop out right there. Add rapids just for interest. Oh, I missed. <laughs> That's a higher elevation. Uh, hold on. There we go. Flatten out. Let's have it go over that pool there. More waterfalls. There's a footpath in the way. What? Huh? Oh, it's because the waterfalls are too tall. Switch over to rapids. Uh, there's still stuff in the way. Where am I? Oh, we're over a footpath. Okay, I see what the problem is. So instead, we'll go this way. And we can't do that. Okay. Well, darn it. this. Okay, now I'm just ruining my lake. I'm just ruining my lake! What a shame. Let's raise the water again since I messed it up. Now I have that goofy corner. No! No! There we go, much better. Uh, no, not better, not better, not better. Red alert, red alert. <laughs> there we go, I fixed it. Let's go up this slope. Uh, never mind, I can't. This is what we're talking about. This is cool. More waterfalls. Some rapids. More rapids. And a drop. And it's all fenced in, so we'll follow the lines of the fences. Never mind, they just take up the entire tile and the fences are gone. I didn't realize. It's sad. Okay. In that case, let's uh, do this. Go over everybody. Actually, can I go down a little bit? Nope, I cannot. Okay. Okay, well, I'm stuck. How do I do this? Uh, let's go straight. Because I have to be careful. If I go down over here, this is where the queue line is going to be, so I can't really go down over here. That's where the entrance will be, so I can't do that. 
Oh, here we go. Wonderful. Whirlpool that no one sees. Woohoo! On my photo section since I don't have one yet. Oh, that's out that's outside the borders of the park. Look at that. We went really far. Let's go waterfalls. And raise this up to rejoin our station. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Wonderful! And how many of these do we get? Oh, it even defaulted to the color scheme I like. That's good. Let's test it out. Turn this down to f uh, three seconds, I guess? I don't know. It is raining again, my goodness. No. No, no, no. Don't delete that. What the heck? Go this way. It looks like I have to mess up my lake here. Make this work. There we go. I can delete these paths. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Let me delete it! All of you guys get off. Now I have more room to make my queue line. Wonderful! Now I actually have a respectable queue line. Fitting for a ride this size. I can't actually see down there. I don't know if it's even connected anymore. <laughs> oh, yep, it is. I see underground. Wonderful. Okay. Huh. Where is boat one? It's coming towards the end. Very nice. Let's watch your stats. Eh, not bad for a river rapids. I think we might be able to get away with eight or so dollars for this. So let's open for business. We have no loan. Our advertising campaigns are over, so let's turn those up to the max. Let's advertise the River Rapids, which we just opened. Maybe not for the max, maybe for half of the max, so we can advertise something else when it uh, when that expires. Very cool. What else have we unlocked while I wasn't paying attention? Inverted roller coaster? Oh, nice. We also have those go-karts available finally, so let's build some go-karts. Somewhere we might have room for them. It looks like we don't have room right there. How about... Over here? Yes, indeed. snake through here like so. There we go. Perfect. Plop. That kiosk is surrounded on all, f or three, not all four, all on three sides with paths, so there's all those more exposure points to potentially buy umbrellas, and uh, d delete that. There we go. I want this entrance facing the main path, not towards the exit. Number of laps, three, that seems appropriate. Okay. Kind of a funky layout for a go-kart track, but it's fine. Oh, I forgot, I gotta change the price on these. Let's uh, maybe risk eight dollars. 
Oh, they're willing to pay for it, so that's a good sign. Let's check all of our rides. The pirate ship has no one on it, probably because $5 is ridiculously expensive. Maybe they'll ride it for $3? Yep, looks like it. What else? Oh, that was the only one. Okay, we're good. Well, our park seems to be coming together very nicely. It's hard to pack, it's hard to pack things together because of the hills, but it's fine. There's the inverted roller coaster. We'll have to save up for that. Why is the arrow going down? Oh, now it flipped. That's weird. <laughs> that was a funny sound. <laughs> rest in peace, merry-go-round. Rest in peace. Let's advertise free fries and free rides on our broken merry-go-round because it broke. Okay. I'll be fixed in a minute when our mechanic gets to it. Speaking of which, I need to hire more of these guys. Just to keep up with uh, all the clutter and the litter in the park. Oh, what did we just unlock? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, a course roller really coaster. That'll be fun. A very pretty to look at roller coaster. Of course, I can't really afford it at the moment, but maybe I could afford one of these. If I can find a spot for it. Oh, I'm getting tired. It's gonna rain again. Why is it raining again? Come on. What the heck? Enough with the rain already. Well, I guess I could the umbrella sales, so I'll stop complaining. This would be kind of scary to ride on this rickety track, looking over the edge, over the water and such. I'd mess with my nerves for certain. So we can ride around this uh, mine shaft here. Yeah, like so. It's like a little tour. Serving the purpose of the tour train that we broke because we didn't want it. Uh, bad idea. Let's turn around. Come on down again to 40 feet. Alright. And now for the entrance and the exit. Turn minimum wait time off. Sports cars, race cars, because they have an excitement bonus. Okay. Let's fast forward and get our results. And look at our income. Look at our money. We are going to be able to afford a inverted roller coaster soon. And it's going to rain again. What the heck? Why must it rain so much? Oh, nice. It looks like we made this long enough to actually not have a stat penalty. So we have a decent excitement rating. Very good. Yay. I'm going to leave this where it is. I don't want to charge any more than that. Look how colorful the umbrellas are. I think I should actually add another umbrella style somewhere, because, or since we uh, expanded our pathway so much. And make these ones yellow. Yellow, there we go. Look how much money this is making. 14,000 per hour? Okay, it's not that much. What about this? 23. Okay, I think our log flume is probably our biggest earner right now. People are more interested in the haunted house because of the rain. <laughs> it's not much of a profit. <laughs> it paid itself off though. I think the ride by itself is 340, so we've about doubled that. More than doubled it. Total profit, 770, er, yeah, 776 and 30 cents. This is popular, that's good to see. Anyway, enough dilly dally. We have enough money. I think we can afford to build a inverted roller coaster. 
uh, somewhere. I'm gonna have to expand our borders again first. Okay, let's take this pathway and uh, extend it out. So, and connect it to this somehow, although we have a train in the way. So this tile lines up with, I think, here? So I might be able to come up there, but the train is in the way. Yeah, that's not going to work. So let's uh, back up a tad. Yeah, so that's not going to work. God, oh, for goodness sake, get out of here. You're all going to die if I accidentally delete something with you on it. Get out. Okay. Now we have to wait for all these these uh, hoodlums to get out of there. Let's do something else in the meantime. What are we researching? Oh, we got bumper cars. Nice. Let's build that somewhere. Let's kiss that goodbye and put it right here. Uh, pathway. Very good. Oh, that didn't work. Whoops. Move that there. No! Oh no, my exit! What the heck? Come on. Work with me. Here we go. Rather awkward path. Okay, our ad campaign for River Rapids finished, so let's advertise a roller coaster now. One of our roller coasters. Perhaps the Wild Mouse, because it has some wild stats. Six weeks. Very good. As a new ride, I can charge $3 for this, I think. And with that, I think everyone should be out. Except for this goofy handyman. Get out of there. And what are you doing in there, Dwight F.? Okay, so now I think we should be able to, oops, let's find a way to connect this. See through rides. Get out of there. I forgot I got a blocker from the other side. No! No entry. Now get the heck out. Hey. Buddy, get out of there. All right. You know what? It's fine. If you get if you disappear into the void, that's your fault. I'm just gonna do what I do here. Okay, I need height marks on the paths because I can't see what I'm doing. Height marks on paths. And now because the ground is blurry, I can't actually see it. Height base land. There we go. So these are a little too high up. Get rid of these. If I can, why can't I delete it? That's weird. There we go. Save our handyman. 
There we go. Gotcha. Alright, now I think everything is connected now. Yeah, it's all connected. So we can delete this. And delete this. Wonderful. Okay. Now we have access to these parts of the park, like over here. We could have a ride with a station over here. So let's build that inverted roller coaster we were talking about. Look how rich we are, my goodness. Making an average about 9,000 per month. That actually isn't as much as I'd like to make, but it's good. It's all right. Let's see, how many trains do I get? That's two trains, okay. Let's go from 40 to 140. So we have a 100 foot drop. Let's go loop. Loopity loop. Woohoo! Glides like butter. And I think we can go through the loop. Yes, sirree, we can. Alright, let's put a photo section inside the loop because that's kind of cool. That didn't work the way I was hoping it would, but let's helix out. Ah, that doesn't work either. Uh, helix out starting here. That's a problem. Let's go small half loop. That doesn't work. I'm in the way of myself. That doesn't work either. Okay. Oh, it's because I'm under I'm under the track. Okay. So now I'm running parallel with myself. Oh, but I don't want I don't want to block myself in, so let's not do that. I wonder if I have enough, if I've slowed down enough that I can get away with doing something like this, or if I'll be so, f go, go through there so hot that I'll just kill somebody with the G-forces. So let's see. It's a little fast, but I think it's alright. Anyway, I think we are we have built this sufficiently big. We're almost out of money actually. So we should return to this station. Let's slow down to 13 and then helix up. I can't do that. There's a go-kart right there. Okay. Uh, in that case, well, we'll break first, of course. So break Come up. 
There we go. Let's actually add some redundancy here just for safety. Station platforms. Okay, we'll figure out the pathway situation in a minute. In the meantime, let's test this bad boy. And if we have a yellow track, let's have blue trains. Why are the trains yellow? They blend right in with the track. There we go. White seats on blue trains. Let's follow train one on main view. I forgot to turn this up. Darn it. So close. Reset. Now test. And up we go! Traveling at 7 miles per hour, of course. Woohoo! Down we go! Yeehaw! Over the big loop. Let's watch my lateral G's. Everything looks good at the moment. I'm worried about this part. Let's see what it looks like. A bit rough, but not quite into the red, so I think we're okay. I'm gonna break the slowest down. The slowest down a lot. <laughs> okay! Well, that's good. That's very, very good, I think. Let's watch our stats, see what we get. Oh, heck yeah. Alright. Let's connect everything with our paths. So that's the egg or the entrance. Let's figure out the exit. Uh oh, the trains and the, the tracks in the way. There we go. What an awkward setup. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh well, that's fine. Your advertising campaign for the park has finished! Woohoo! Set that to $15, just like all the other biggies. Let's look at anything that doesn't have riders. Haunted house, probably too expensive. Turn this down to $150. What about the inverted roller coaster? Oh, because I just opened it. Of course, there's no one on it. Mine train coaster, what are the thoughts? Not paying that much, they say, because it's too expensive. Okay, how about $12? Let's just say there's theming underground with, like, with lights and stuff so you can see. And if there's like gold and diamonds everywhere, that would be kind of cool. Actually, in the expansions to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, there are actually uh, scenarios that have those, like gemstones and stuff. It's super cool. So, in the future, maybe when I finish of the Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 scenarios, I will start doing the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 expansions, and then maybe circle back and do the Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 expansions. I don't know. Uh, what else is nobody on it? The Leaping Roller Coaster, nobody's riding it, probably because it's too expensive. Let's, uh, let's look at the situation over here. Because it's too expensive, but not anymore. Now people will ride it. Wonderful. Did I not turn this off? Oh no, I never turned this off! That's why it's not making as much as it could be. Oh wait, no, I did turn it off. Or I turned it down to three, it just wasn't low enough. So this tr this roller coaster could have been making much more than 19,000 per hour if I hadn't toggled that. Uh... Oh well, we'll see what happens now that I've fixed it. Your advertising campaign for the Wooden Wild Mouse 1 is finished. Looks like all of our ads are done. So let's turn this up to the max of 12 weeks and same thing for the inverted roller coaster for 12 weeks Boop. voila we have no loan we're just making bank okay we broke 10,000 last month let's see if we can do it again in August we're only two-thirds of the way through and we're already more than two-thirds of the way through 
are getting as much as 10,000, so I think we're off to a good start, especially with this new roller coaster edition. Oh, and I wasn't paying attention, but we beat the scenario. Look at that. <laughs> we're halfway through year two. We have another year and a half to go, and we are booking it. Look at how good we're doing. We have one, two, three, four, five, six roller coasters, plus a log flume, plus a river rapids, plus whatever you call this thing. So, lots of custom rides, lots of flat rides. We're just doing good overall. Oh, I still gotta build one of these. Oops, not right now. One of these and one of these. Oh, we have a Ferris wheel. I missed that. Let's build that somewhere over um, here. With a very short queue line. <laughs> I'm leave that the default price. Actually, what I should do is do that fancy wheel thing that Marcel Voss keeps doing. So let's delete that. Delete these paths. Whoops. Maybe up here. Or we have to make a pathway that reaches to it. Reaches it though. Okay, yeah, so let's figure the, path, the pathway situation first. So let's uh, extend this up and around, or we could go underground and have this pop out over here. So let's find the intersection of these paths. We cannot do that there. Okay, how about, how about here? Oh! Oh goodness! What just happened? Uh, hello. 30 people have died in an accident on inverted roller coaster one! Wow. Uh, like, <laughs> What are all these people thinking? Well, they're not thinking anything, but they're like, alright, never mind. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. I don't know why that happened, but, uh,. Did one of the roller coasters stall right here? I know it didn't break down because it hasn't had a breakdown yet. Ah, uh, yes, refurbish. That's expensive though. Why does it need to be refurbished already? Because it crashed? Yeah, that might. Yeah, that might actually be uh, one of the things. If it crashes, it maybe has a fatal flaw. I'm going to speed this and see exactly what happened here. merry go round broke down. Okay, if these brakes failed, it may have flew through them and smacked into the back of this train or something. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I don't know what I could have done differently, but this brake is slowing it down way too much, so let's turn that to 18. And let's break these. Add some redundancy, a little more length. Have some secondary brakes over here to 13. And I hope that will solve the problem, so let's let that test when we get back to what we were doing a second ago. Hey buddy, that's an awfully dangerous place to stand. This must be a bug in OpenRCT2. The little red thing, the, the pop-up, disappears before I have a chance to read it. That's annoying. I had an idea for future videos. I was wondering if you guys would like to see me play the original vanilla game, because I have it on my computer, I own it. Uh, I've just been playing the OpenRCT2 version. But if you want to see the original vanilla gameplay without all of my little hacks and stuff, uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Kind of get the raw experience. I've also no noticed there are numerous bugs in the sound of OpenRCT2. Like on hills, when a train goes down a hill, the guests are supposed to scream. 
But in this, they kind of half scream and then it like cuts out as other sounds fight for dominance or something. It's super weird. So there are some bugs in OpenRCT2 that have not been resolved. So if you want to see uh, gameplay from the original vanilla game and not OpenRCT2 with all of its little hacks and stuff, let me know in the comments. That would be fun. That'd be a, an interesting change of uh, an interesting change. Okay, let's build another one of these. And another one. And another one. This actually kind of elevates the soft guest cap in a way. But most of the guests that are attracted by this probably won't be all that interested in riding these. They'll be riding the more expensive and profitable roller coasters. My goodness. <laughs> Clogging up my whole screen. One more to fill up the last spot. Then we'll have to make a color gradient with these. For fun. Test, test, test. Isn't that something? Okay, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get to uh, dealing with these in a minute. But for now, I need to figure out the path situation. Look at all those paths. Oh, and I need to do this too. Um, let's do this here. Cut across the front like so. And I think I might be able to sneak past the roller coaster here and reconnect with this path over here. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, we'll see. Uh, kind of. Maybe. There we go. Delete those. We are set. And with that, we can figure out the queue lines. Which looks like the lobby stairs. Whoops. Let's do... Let's go from hot to cold. So two reds. Two yellows. Then two greens. two blues at the very end. Whoops. Come back. There we go. Boom. Now these are all open. And while they're doing their thing, we should color them. So let's go from hot to cold. As I said, we got red. Should we make the whole thing a solid color, or have different colors for the spokes and the actual wheel? Or no, we could have similar colors. So, red for the spokes, and pink, which is a shade of red, for the wheel. Then we'll have, uh... Yeah, the next one will be... Orange for the wheel. And... Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> a brighter orange? A lighter shade of orange? I don't know. Next, this one will be yellow. And a brighter shade of yellow? Oh, it's the same one. I clicked the same one. Darn it. Orange. Light orange. First wheel three. Oh, I should actually read what it says. <laughs> this one will be yellow. The lighter shade of yellow. First wheel four. Uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, 
Okay, maybe I don't have an, maybe the colors of the rainbow aren't eight like I did, so we'll do shades. So, so this first one here, number three, will be a dark yellow. Kind of a gold color with yellow spokes. This one will be a neutral yellow. Now we're entering the green. We'll have a super bright neon green with a dark forest green. First wheel number seven, up seven. We give him number six. Number six. We'll have a foresty green for the spokes and switch over to a cyan as a transition towards blue. Light blue. Dark blue. And purple. Oh, let's invert that. Let's switch those. Yeah, I don't even know. It looks cool, whatever it is, it's cool. We'll leave them all at their default prices. That's going to shoot up our soft guest cap. I think we get, what is it, 65 additional guests? Or no, 45 per wheel? So let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, so that's uh, f uh, four times 90. Oh, I got a stretch. Ugh. That's another new thing I got for my, for my uh, recording setup, is I got a gaming chair. I've been using a fold-up chair this whole time and it felt, and I've actually gone through three fold-up chairs because I'm kind of a big guy, uh, 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 kind of kind of tall, and I keep breaking the backs out of these game, uh, out of these fold-up chairs, leaving the bar that it was hanging on exposed, so that would kind of cut into my back. And then there was also some sharp metal edges that it was a kind of a safety risk, very uncomfortable. So I now have a proper chair, which feels much better, but it's kind of making me drowsy because it's so comfortable. <laughs> what have I unlocked since then? Let's see. Stand-up roller coaster. Oh, cool. We still haven't built a corkscrew roller coaster yet, though. Or a mini roller coaster. Let's see if we can fill this tiny space with a mini. Just a little teeny one. Let's see, shift. There's a up. There we go. If there's a minimum height requirement, I probably missed it, and that's fine. I don't have room for this. <laughs> uh, what I should have done is gone. The gun has gone straight like this, and stay curved. Oh, looks like I can't. Okay, do this. Can I helix this? I cannot. What a shame. It's time to rain again. I do have room for that, but now I don't this path in the way. Okay, so I guess I really don't have room for this. I might have room for a wild mouse over here, but not this. So I have to put that somewhere else. Where's a good spot? There's all this unused space, although I think I want to reserve that for something bigger, like a corkscrew. Uh, perhaps over here. Here's a good spot. Where is it? Here we go. Let's build it right here. Oops, wrong button. Rotate. Steep drop. Another steep drop. That'll be fine. Let's 
So we went from 75 to 45 with a tight turn. That might be safe. I don't know, honestly. It might be dangerous. And that's too tall for supports. So let's do this more abruptly to 55. Or I guess that's... Yeah, 55. This is going to be a very hilly mini roller coaster. And it may not be safe. <laughs> okay. Dangerous we go. Let's turn this around like so. Uh, I actually don't. I can't do that. Can I? Well, I might be able to get away with that. That's only a difference of 30 feet. Let's S-band left. I know it kind of seems silly to to, to uh, curve this after these abrupt turns over here, but just be, they don't all have to be that bad. Okay, so now we have two trains. Let's fire it up and see what happens. First of all, turn this up. Fire away. Make the track bright green to clash with the ground below. So now these ladybirds, look, uh, they don't look out of place. I don't know why they're called ladybirds. I always call them ladybugs. Ladybug trains. Let's watch our laterals, make sure they're safe. The fact that lateral goes all the way up to seven on the graph is a bad sign. <laughs> oh, that was a big crossover. But I think we'll be okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we did. Uh, wrong thing. Here we go. Uh, okay. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. That's all right. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm right there. <laughs> I, I went down for no reason. For some reason, I thought that I was at a higher elevation than all this. I didn't realize I could just do that. Oh well, it's fine. It adds visual interest to the park. Let's charge maybe 12 for this, if we can get away with it. It's raining again. We are in March, year 3, so the very beginning. The beginning of the end. And my oh my, what a pretty park we have. I still think we should build some more big roller coasters, so let's build one of these uh, corkscrew roller coasters. Let's take up this whole area with it. We're not going to be shy with this. We have a lot of money and a lot of income. And still a few weeks left of our advertising campaign. So, let's embrace the bigness. Embrace the big. That sounds kind of weird. Let's see. How am I going to connect this up, though? I have to have a path system that goes up to it. Yeah, let's get the pathway figured out first. Um. Here we go. Pop out right there. Now we need to connect it to over here somehow. Somehow, as I said. No! Please just connect. Connect for us. Uh, let me just uh, squish that. There we go! Problemo solved! Now we can build our corkscrew roller coaster without reservation because we have access to it. Let's get two trains, please. There we go, two trains. Lovely. Well, no, what I could do is just enjoy. I can relish in the power of Open RCT2 by doing what you can't normally do in the vanilla game. Uh-oh, I'm out of room.
Okay, so we have a boost and a lift hill, which is kind of weird. I almost don't like it. So instead of doing that, let's uh, have a second boost at the top of this hill. Oh, those are brakes. Not <laughs> Boosters! Woohoo! Just rocket this train to kingdom come. Let's see if I even make it to the top of this hill. Yeah, baby! We got this! Ho ho ho! Let's go! Break that. There we go! There we go! That is beautiful to look at, although I am a little concerned that the lateral Gs are going to be a little extreme on this in this area. So sad as it is, we may have to not do that. All the same, I just want to see if I can do that, so I'm going to bring this back to the station right now, just so I can test it. Uh, don't mind that corner, that's going to be lethal if I do that. I just want to, I just want to see what this area looks like. So let's do some ugly connective work here. Okay. Okay, results please. Let's watch our laterals, see what happens with that this uh, sequence right here. Okay, moment of truth. I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, two and a half. That's a lot. That's a lot. Two and a half on both sides of the of the axis. So maybe I don't know if that's going to be okay. So let's uh do this. Oh, I don't have room for do that. Uh huh. Let's bring this back to the station safely so I can see if it's actually because of that segment that makes it unsafe. Or makes it uh, too extreme for riders to enjoy. Okay, down to 20. Okay, now test it. Okay, this isn't this has good stats as it is right now. I might as well just open it <laughs> Okay, well this area looks safe, so that's good. So let me delete all this nastiness. I built in the back of it Now we know that this uh, that this segment will not be a deal breaker for us It might contribute more than we like to the intensity, but it's safe enough that we can we can tolerate that So let's do it again <laughs> down to 50 feet. I wonder if the, how fast it'll be going through this, if we can get away with doing a little Cobra thing here. Uh-oh, I don't think we that. Um, let's see what it does. Yeah, that's too fast. We'll have to do this later. What I could do is go up first, like what they do on the Great American Screen Machine, but that just doesn't look pretty. And as a result, Great American Screen Machine, that does look kind of funny on it. Let's have a helix. I find that one helix is pretty. More than one, or a lot of helixes, I guess. Looks weird, and I don't like it very much. And we're lagging. We're lagging like a dragon. Oh, why did it have to do that? Why did it have to do that? There we go. Much better. Put a photo section right here. I wonder if I can go through the helix. 
But I'm not in the right position to do that though, so let's instead do this once or twice. I don't have room. Okay, let's do it once. Then do it again. Okay, I think the helix is still in the way. Okay, never mind. So we can't do that. Oh well. Well, let's just uh, dodge out of this spot. And this roller coaster is huge. My goodness. And it looks pretty. That was our objective after all. What am I in the way of here? Oh, this angle's much worse. I can't see! <laughs> this is a very tangled looking roller coaster. Maybe we can squeeze it in here. Whoops, not like that. Let's go right. Okay, well now this is in the way, but I just want to see if it actually makes it up, makes it through this. Or actually, no, I could make this work if I make this a little tighter. Let's go half loop. Corkscrew right. Corkscrew right again. Half loop. Now I have room. Where's the train going? Am I stalling somewhere? I might be stalling somewhere. Hold on. <laughs> I just barely make it over that hill. Woohoo! Up we go. So it looks good. Looks good. Just going through this. Oh, wait a minute. Why did why did it stop right there? Wait a minute, why is it doing that? Yeah, it gets to right here and then it just abruptly stops. Does that mean there's a point over here where it would crash? Or is the game just getting confused? I think the game's getting confused! Well, that's annoying. That means we can't actually see if this will be safe. No matter, we're going to roll with it as if it is safe and... Uh, never mind, I can't do that. <laughs> Oh, but I can't do this. But this is obscenely long, so for two trains, it's kind of going to have a slow throughput unless I block section it, but it's kind of too late to do that. So let's just bring this back to the station and see what uh, see what our results are. Wow, I just went straight through there. My goodness. Hilly, 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 hilly. All right. Now at 20 feet, we should be lined up just right. So let's slow down to 18. Have some redundancy over here for safety. Slow down to 13 this time. Very good. And I guess we can replace these rear tiles with just more station. Oh, we already have wrenches in exit. All right. All right. Actually, I wonder if we can if we shorten this, we can get another train. Although if we do that, I don't know if we'll make it over the hill. Let's test and find out. Woohoo! And with three trains, we might get even better throughput, especially for such a, for such a big roller coaster. Will it make it up? I was afraid of that. Okay, in that case, eight cars per train. Fire away! I'm gonna watch the laterals again because that's what I'm most concerned about. See what it does. See how she blows. And it's going to rain again. Why does it rain so much? What the heck? 
What's the deal with all this rain? I guess it means more shop sales. I, I keep saying the same thing. I'm running out of same, uh, things to say. So nothing's in the red, but there's still a lot of uh, extreme G-forces. So this roller coaster may be in the red anyway, just because it's so big. If it is, I'd be sad because it was a lot of work. Or it's a... Oh, crap. <laughs> well, that's not going to do. We're going to have a crash if we do that. So instead of that, let's... Uh, break this. And go down first. Go right. Right again. Half loop. Uh... Oh no, there's no room! That's a s- No! What's in the way? Corkscrew roller coaster 1 is in the way. Oh, I see. It's because we're over this part. Okay. What if we go up just a little bit? Now all of it's in the way. Crud. What about this? I might be pushing it here, but at least I have a little more vertical speed in the mix to hopefully get through. Okay, let's test again and see if I make it through there. Let's see what happens. Woohoo! Just barely. Just crawl, just snakes right through it. I don't think it'll stall, especially if we have passengers, because we'll have more momentum if we have passengers. So that might be okay. So we'll have a lot of hang time there. That's kind of cool, actually. Oh, wow, not bad. You know, those stats aren't much different than before I added all this crap to it. <laughs> oh, this is, it's a big waste of space. Ah, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. It's it's about the looks. That's what it's about. Although I do want to color this because this is kind of a very ugly in its current condition. Let's go for red for the exit. Boom. For a roller coaster this size with stats that good, we should charge sixteen dollars. If anyone's willing to pay it. Anybody? My, my, look at her income for the past few months. Not bad. Corks for Roller Coaster 1 looks too intense for me. Fair enough. It is really intense. Oh, that is cool. Look how bright that is. With black supports? I'm thinking white supports. That's probably better. I know this is basically just the Great American Scream Machine, but the color looks good. That's why they did it. So I'm going to do it too. It just looks good. Heck yeah. Bumper Cars 1 has broken down. What a shame. Now this one has passengers on it. I forgot to open this. It's been testing this whole time. Okay, now it's open. So all this potential income has been uh, going down the drain all this time. Oh! No, it is open. <laughs> I, f I, f I forgot that I opened it. Never mind, don't listen to me. I'm confusing myself. Let's see. We are nearly halfway through year three, so we are, we are doing great. We have 1,200 guests, so... Uh, we beat the scenario plus 50%. My, my, my. Look at this thing go. What have we unlocked? Martian theming? Oh, we're working on Martian thing. Okay, I thought I still unlocked it. Um, I think I could potentially build a chairlift somewhere. Maybe near the entrance. Oh, why am I so tired? I slept really well today. Maybe it's because of this chair, as I said. It's a comfy chair. That doesn't work. 
Um, there we go. Now we're at 115 feet up. I wonder if I can touch down over here. Although I, I want to save this play, this spot for flat rides if I can. Okay, so we're down to 70 feet. Okay, can't do that. Let's go straight a little bit first, then head down. Ah, oh, still, still in the way. Okay. Um, There we go. Station platform, just like that. Although I'm kind of blocking myself in though, so let's instead do this. Station platform, embed it into the rock a little bit. There we go. Why can't I put the entrance over here? Oh, there we go. I'm not sure what that was. That was weird. Let's put the entrance right there. Hello. Where's the exit? Well, okay, that was weird. That wouldn't let me place it. Okay. Now, we're maxed out for cars. Let's speed this thing up to nine miles per hour, and I think we can turn this down to two seconds per train, or per car, per chair, we should say. All right. Oh, hold up. Did I pick a bad spot? Heh, <laughs> I kinda did. Oops. Um, perhaps. I think that's connected now. Spyro Slide 1 still hasn't been fixed. That's not good. So that's done. Where's the mechanic for this one? Is he already there? Oh, he just fixed it. Never mind. Nobody is writing this. No. That means it's too expensive. Let's turn it down to $10. Yes, indeed. No one's writing this either. Probably because of the price. So there's a 12. Will people pay 12? We seem to have a litter problem, and all of these garbage bins seem to be empty, so I'm gonna hire a few more. Is this still too expensive? Well, people are getting in line for the log room again, that's good. Okay, this, where the wooden mile mouse is there is a. Uh, nice passengers now. Looks like our looper is too, too expensive, too. Let's try $8. This is making no money, too. Reduce it to 10. Okay, now people are getting in line. I guess we'll have to fix that in a minute. I still gotta get the pathway situation figured out for the chairlift. There we go. And do we have test results yet? Oh yes we do, look at that. Let's open it and charge $2 for it because it's a transport ride, I don't want to charge too much. Very nice. Do we have any flat rides we've unlocked while I wasn't paying attention? I don't think so. I think we've built everything in the flat, all the flat rides that are available we have built. The only things we haven't built are, ooh, reverse refall coaster. We've built all of these, except the new one and the stand-up roller coaster. So I wonder where I could possibly put this, because it's a straight roller coaster. Perhaps right here.
Uh oh. Maybe a little taller. Oops. Straight. That's what I want. Straight. Knock down the mine shaft. We'll have to replace it with something pretty. What a shame. Let's see how far it makes it up. Okay, that's good. That's good. We'll let that test while we build the pathway. Things are starting to look cluttered. Maybe I shouldn't have built that, honestly. I don't know. It's a good score, though. So let's uh, set the price to $10 and open. People are going right in. Wonderful. So now the only roller coaster we don't have is the stand up roller coaster. But I'm not really interested in building it. We don't really have room anyway. Uh. We are halfway through year year three, so we're almost done. And we have 1,200 guests. I think we should advertise for as much time as we can. Let's advertise our new, did we just build another? Oh yeah, the corkscrew roller coaster. So let's advertise that for 12 weeks. Boom! And do, it, do an inventory, take stock of our rides. No one is on this, why is that? I want to go on something more thrilling. Oh, this was just not enough interest. Okay. So that's fine. What else? Race 1 by Anastasia. That's good. People are writing that. Haunted House. Too expensive, I guess. Probably. We have a lot of rides. My goodness. Okay, it looks like everything has riders. Except for a handful of these Ferris wheels. But that's just because there's... Well, there's a lot of options. Bobsled coaster. Don't need it. How much money are we making per month? About twelve to 13000 it looks like. And now that we've gone through our rides and made sure everything is open and generating income, maybe this month will be a highlight. It'll be a, a, a high month. Let's see what we earn for July. I'm guessing 14000 And ride ticket sales. Now we're at 10,000 and we're only two thirds of the way through the month, so I think this is going to be a good month. July 23rd, 24th, just as I predicted, 14k! Woohoo! Let's see how far we can push it before the end of the month. Oh yeah! I'm going to bet that was our best month of the day. Let's look. Yeah, no of the no other month has ever produced that much. Sweet. Okay. Well, that was a lot. We have fifty thousand dollars. Wow. Well, I think we need to. Uh, I forgot. Since we have expanded the park so much, we need to provide the proper amenities for it. We don't have a lot of food stalls anywhere, or bathrooms. I think we only have one bathroom in the whole park. So we need to fix that. That might be part of the reason we're kind of hovering around twelve to thirteen uh, hundred guests. Is because people are going home because they're hungry or they need to pee. So. Let's fix that. And as I said, there's a lot of paths underground, so let's sort those out. The problem with paths being underground is if there's vandalism or vomiting and stuff, it's harder for me to see it and fix it. Whoops. So we'll curb our litter problem with these bins. Where else? We have pathways over here that have been built. Oh, not over there. Uh, over here, I mean. Oh, we were just there. Okay. Let's place benches everywhere. Especially by the exit of this uh, corkscrew roller coaster, because it's rather intense. It's going to rain yet again. For some reason, I got the idea in my head that this was a hot, dry scenario, but then look outside. It's all, it's all evergreen forest. 
This area is brown not because it's dead, but because it was dug up. It's a mine. I don't know why I didn't get that through my head. So, yeah, I guess it may make sense that this is a more temperate, wet climate. There's a firm of benches here and there. Okay, that's probably good. Our park rating is maxed out at 999. We had a dip in September. That was probably when the roller coaster crashed. The uh, this one. Now it's generating all kinds of income for us. Look at that. 36,000 per hour. Not bad. What about this one? 36,000 as well. So we have two mega earners for us right now. Probably the reason why we're so rich. Is this one doing anything? <laughs> it's still hardly piddly nothing. Although it is raining, so people aren't uh, as interested in writing stuff at the moment. Total profit, $20,000. Not bad. Mine Train Coaster 1 is broken down. That's annoying. Let's hire a few more mechanics to keep up with the sheer volume of rides we have. Man, look at our park. Wow, wow, wow. What a park. Oh, I forgot. As I said, I need to build more stuff. So let's build a pizza stall right over here. Come get your pizza, folks. Right off the bat, people are buying it because they're hungry. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, I have a bathroom right here. Maybe uh, cotton candy over here. Do we have any drinks other than sodas? I don't think so. So now we have two drink stalls, but we should probably have three or four throughout the park. In a strategic location so people don't have to travel so far to get it. The more time a guest spends walking towards an objective, the less time they spend on our rides. And look at that, we have balloons. So let's place down balloon stalls, as we always do, so we get our customary balloon release at the end of the scenario. Let's set the balloons to zero, they shall be free. Let's get all the primary colors, all the secondary colors, and then a few unique colors like pink. So this one will be yellow, now we need red, maybe closer to the entrance. Right there works. Okay, so that's all the primary colors. Now for the secondary colors. Uh, not there. Rotate it. So it's facing out. Let's go for orange. Very bright, vivid orange. And now green. Probably the most popular secondary color. And purple. And now with that, let's add pink somewhere. Light pink, pastel pink, dark pink. Oh, I like how in Open RCT2 they named all the colors. So let's just go red pink, that's fine. Just a generic bright pink. And now let's maybe get cyan. As a, as a special shade, or a special color. Somewhere, if I can find a spot for it. Oh, there we go. That's a good spot. Let's go cyan. So it says, it just says dark water. It's called cyan, people. <laughs> That's funny. I guess water is a good name for the color. It makes sense. Oh man, I can't make it, can't make it uh, low enough to actually connect where I want it to. Put this one here and make this color. I had something in mind, but I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, we have light blue already. Let's make a dark blue. And that's probably fine. That's good for now. As before, our park rating is maxed out. We made 17,000. We almost made 18,000 last month. My goodness. We are about to wrap up August. We didn't quite make as much, but that's fine. We made more in shop sales because of the rain, so the total income for this month is more. 
14,000 as opposed to 10,000. What are we researching? What have we unlocked recently? Ooh, a burger bar. Oh! Now we have more food options. So let's place that somewhere. Maybe over here. Oops, I paused the part. Oops. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Oh, but we have fries there. So... Maybe over here. Make that two dollars. Do I have any flat rides I wasn't paying attention to? Nope. Looks like it's just time to start duplicating stuff. It's kind of a weird pathway setup, but it's fine. Change this to a dollar. And it's raining again, of course. Let's have a souvenir stall just to sell a few extra umbrellas and cuddly toys. Because why not? And the cuddly toys could be, I think, $3? I don't remember what the optimal price is. But we're not hurting for money, so I guess it doesn't really matter. What else have we unlocked that I wasn't paying attention to? Oh, it doesn't look like anything. So the only two roller coasters we don't have is the bobsled and the stand-up roller coaster. That's fine. We're doing really well as it is. And we don't have a lot of room left anyway. I mean, we could try to add more stuff, but then it'll end up looking like this. And this is ugly. I should not have built this, I don't think. <laughs> it's just out of place. Oh, well, I'm just going to leave it. It's fine. Oh, and I just remembered. I knocked down the scenery item that was right here to make room for that for the roller coaster, but I meant to rebuild it. There we go. Just reoriented the other direction. Let's fill in the other areas with stuff. Do I have room anywhere for this volcano? Probably don't. Oh, yes, I do. Right here. It's a shame I don't have mechanical theming or else I could put something inside the middle of it. That there for no good reason. So we have a volcano. What else could we possibly place down? We could place a little shack. Some junk. It all, it all kind of blends with the ground. I want to place trees down, but it doesn't match the doesn't match the aesthetic. Huh. Anyway, we have lots of colors. Look at this place. What does it look like at a di oops at a what does this look like at 1.25 scale? This is actually the scale I played at in some of my earlier videos before I decided that 1.5 was better for mobile viewers. But this is typically the uh, the scale that I use to take my thumbnail screenshots. Now that I'm playing it, everything's so tiny. How did I ever play like this? Heh <laughs> heh. Back to 1.5. What about 1.75? Okay, this is too close, I think. Anyway. Looking good. September 20th. We have one month left. So, let's just, uh... I was playing around with the scenery, and I kind of wanted to stop, but I guess we could place a few trees. It's fine. Maybe some evergreen trees. Especially at the borders of the park. You know, we've been listening to this merry-go-round music this whole freaking time, so let's turn it off and find something different to play. Where's the go? Where's the the bumper car? So let me turn that off too. Okay, that's off. What kind of music should we listen to? Maybe we'll pick our corkscrew. The default's the rock style, but I don't want that. Oh! 
Is this new? Hello. Yeah, I think I saw a thumbnail for Tube Cody. I don't know if you're familiar with his channel, Tube Cody. He's another YouTuber. You should definitely check him out. Uh, I saw a thumbnail for one of his videos talking about new music, but I never actually watched that video. But this is cool. What about Blizzard style? Okay, I can't actually hear anything. <laughs> Is there anything else? Galaxy style? You know, I don't know if any of this stuff is copyrighted and if I get in trouble for using it, so let me just use one of the... one of the normal, uh, musics. Musics, that's a weird plural. Normal music? Musics? Uh, Martian style. No, no, definitely not. Uh... Here's a safe one. Seems fitting for the scope and scale of this ride. Ho ho! We are now in October, the last month of year three, with 1,500 guests. I wonder if we can get to 1,600 by the end of the scenario so we can double the objective. So let's put down some additional flat rides for that very purpose, just to raise our soft guest cap. We can raise it up. Open this, and leave the price at the default. This obviously has to come down considerably now that we have two of them. And I think our ad campaign's finished. Oh no, they're still running. Okay. Well, let's offer free fries for two weeks. Free rides on the bumper cars. Why not? Ferris Wheel 5 is broken down. No! Too bad. Or a good thing we have... Ferris wheel, one, two, three, four, six, seven, and eight. What would we possibly do without them? <laughs> Man, I love this little color thing we did. What else can we plop down uh, around the park? Oh, we're swinging inverted ship. That's new. That's not a good spot for it. Let's put it somewhere else. There's a good spot. So just a couple flat rides will raise the soft guest cap so we can build, or so we can exceed 1600. The question is, will we gain the guests fast enough? So I cross my fingers. Let's see what happens. Advertise the campaign finished. Let's advertise the park. Advertise the inverted roller coaster. 1556. I think we are well on our way. Let's just spam a few more rides here and there. Give another spiral slide or two. Right next to the other one. <laughs> eh, eh. Come on, people, come to the park. I want to double the objective. It would be so cool. Actually, maybe we could have a lineup of them right here. Kind of like what we did with the Ferris wheels. They'll at least be a different color. So we'll have one right there. No queue line, because we don't need it. Another one right here. If I can align this properly. Oh no, what's it over? Oh no, because I can't do that. Never mind. It's over the ride below it, the car ride. Whatever, that's fine. 1571, we're making progress. Oh, I already have a ton of these. Let's not do that. Um, maybe another bumper car, so if I can find room for it. Oh, but I don't want to ruin anything. I know that food and drinks add capacity somehow. Let's add another bathroom, mystery number three. And maybe another hamburger shop. We're day 16. We have 16 more guests to go. Spiral slide flea has no path in this exit, really? Where? Oh yeah, it totally doesn't. <laughs> I have to delete this silly, silly fence. There we go. Now it's connected. Okay, back to what we were doing. Let's add another one of these, a scrambled egg, somewhere. If we have room for it, of course. I'm not sure we do, anyway. 
So we have room up there, but there's nowhere to connect it to the pathway. Hmm. Well, this is annoying. I really want to add this. There we go. Just spammed. This is just spammage is all it is. Oh look, we did it! 1616! We have doubled the objective! Yes, we did! Woohoo! Let's go! We have doubled the objective for this scenario. With a comfortable margin on top of it, a comfortable addition. 1633. 1634, my goodness. Well, there's that, we win. Now, we only have one kind of fir tree, a Norway spruce. So let's try to balance that with some other fir trees just to get some variety. Slightly different shade of green, but that's fine. That's a lot of, that's a nice color, honestly, to the park. That's probably sufficient. We only have six days left anyway. Ah, uh, six days left. Five days left now. Is this rain gonna last at the end of the scenario? That would be that would be annoying. My goodness, I wonder if we can get a hundred thousand by the end. Probably not, unless I sold something, but I don't want to do that. So let's not let's not think about that. Let's have some deciduous trees. Maybe a walnut tree. Right there. Or not there. Let's put it here. I put flowers over here since we have space for them. Some purple flowers. And maybe some of these right here. Isn't that pretty? Do we have any other flat spaces? Or not really. <laughs> oh well. We tried. We have some stuff here and there. October 30th. We have just a moment left to finish this. October 31st. And three, two, one. Boom! Okay, timing was off again. Maybe I should stop doing that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. With a company value of $452,449. Not bad. Not bad at all. And look how many balloons we got. Woohoo! Man, oh man. Well, this was a lot of fun. Uh, as always, if you enjoy content like this, be sure to like the video to show that you like it. And uh, subscribe so you see when videos like this come out. And leave a comment on what your favorite ride was. If you want to see more of this content or other kinds of content, any other games you want me to try, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, I'm all ears. So until next time, I will see you. Have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.